Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Gee, it is so hot today in the UK. I hope you're all keeping cool, staying well hydrated. Today I have got an unboxing for you all and it is from VIPCrossStitch.com. They have very kindly sent me some cross cross stitches to just share with you all which is really really lovely i've got five to show you today and um, they've also given me a discount code to get five percent off your order which is marwa05 i'll pop that in the description box down below along with all the links to my products and um to the home page of their website as well so let's get in here i hope you're all doing well so this came a few days ago, but I've just, um, yeah, I've just not had a chance. It's been so busy, so warm. Um, so these come, look at them all. Aren't they lovely packaged? This is the back of them. I don't want to give you any spoilers. So let's have a look at the first one that I've got here. And all of these are just over three pounds a kit, which is amazing. So the first one is a Happy Farm Pig. And I just thought it was a really cute image, like lots of little flowers, cute little piggy wiggy. Um, it's a 14 count Ada and it contains the fabric, the threads, the needle and the instructions. I really like them because they're in these little sealed um, plastic bags and they're resealable. So you can keep your work in there, keep it clean and well protected whilst you're doing it. But also just to store it like really, really neatly, like in a drawer or whatever. It's very, very good. Um, on the back as well, it's got really clear instructions about how to do cross stitch and about using your threads and things like that. Um, really, really straightforward. Plus like how to do your stitches at the bottom. Um, and again, just remind to keep your hands clean. So yeah, wash your hands before you start. Make sure you're not sort of getting... Your, your cloth and your materials are dirty and, and sticky and things. So let's have a quick look inside to see what's included in the kit. And I love this because, well, here we go. First of all, we have got the, oh, so here we go. It's a printed canvas, which makes it really easy to follow if you're a beginner. Um, it has got all the different threads along the side with the colors. It's got this here. It's actually like a, an overlocked canvas. So you're not gonna, it's not gonna fray. And then um, it's also counted as well, like for 10, 20, 30, 40, to make it easier. Um, to make life even simpler, they've already sorted your threads out as well, which is amazing. Um, you've got a couple of needles in here as well. Um, and they've really thought of everything. And then you've got here, you've got all your threads with your DMC colors. And then just absolutely, fab so like for example just so you can have a little look here um like the green of the piggy is it says there so it's like so that's 16 then you're gonna have a little look along here and there we go so we've got 16 and it's that little beautiful pink piggy wiggy color <laughs> um and you also can check it on your chart here um she says 13 14 15, 16, so you can see there it's that bright green, so everything marries up. It's not very clear to see the DMC code. Is that 963? Yeah, so you've got your, you just, your, your straightforward code with your DMC code, and then I think this is maybe, is it how many strands you've got included in there? Yeah, it looks like, okay, three, half a strand, one strand. So yeah, cool. So really, really nice. Um, and you don't have to work off a chart. So if you've never done it before, it's really straightforward. But you can also use this as a guide as well. Um, if you're not sure, you can see there as well, you've got like, um, you have to do a little bit of um, outlining and things, but it explains everything on here. Oh, and it's also a chart. Wow, that's excellent. So you've got, you've got your picture there, which is your reference. Oh, lovely. You've got your key code here. That is so clear. So especially if you want to like um, photocopy this and then um, create your own little holders and things, but you've got your card here already. Um, and then you've got your chart there. If you maybe want to just do it as a counted cross stitch onto some plain Ada, if you prefer to do it that way, then you can do it that way. But you can use this then as your reference and just make sure you're doing it right. But yeah, how cool is that? Really, really good. I can't wait to do one of these. I think I'm going to have to come back and do a completed one just to show you how they turned out. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. Um, that is super cute. Let me pack that away. I just love it. I thought it was such a cute 
design. Um, I always in the past used to do counted cross stitch, but I think it's, um, I'm really interested to see what it's like with the, the printed ones. Um, so yeah, there's a, look at it, all packed away. Keeps it all nice and clean until you're ready to start your project. Or if you want to take it away on holiday with you, or you know, if you've got visiting somebody, or even send it as a gift in the post. It's like, just stick it in an A4 envelope and off it goes. So the next one I've got is this. I thought it was just really, really lovely. So this is spring. It's cross stitch. It's a pre-printed fabric again with your chart. It's got your cotton th fabric, the thread, the needle, and the instructions, same as before. Um, and I just thought it was really lovely. Um, so obviously it says spring here. You've got like your little chicks, your little gingham, sort of like um, tape, um, like picnic blanket almost, some washing on the line, little ladybirds, windmill birdhouse, little plants, butterflies, um, like sort of like reference to gardening and your bike. I just thought it was really, really cute, really lovely. And inside, let's have a look at the canvas. So again, now we know you've got this as your outer sheet, as your reference. You've got your counted cross stitch chart there, along with your threads, DMC numbers, and how many you need of, is this how many you need of each? The symbol, DMC number, no. So it tells you the full stitches, back stitches. Um, cool. And then again, they sorted the threads out, which that used to be the biggest pain. I remember when I used to first start doing these in like the eighties, <laughs> you just get them all, all your sort of skeins of thread and you have to sort them all out and try and work out what was what and, and sort of chart them up yourself. Um, so it's a 14 count. You need to use two threads and you've got a couple of needles there. The canvas is really clear. I wonder what size, what size is this? What size does it say on here? It says, it, it. does it tell you? 26 by 26. We have a little tape measure, actually. Let me just check and see if it is 26 by 26. So if we just do it from the edge. Right, no. So it actually is about 19 and a half by... It'll probably be like, yeah, by about 19 and a half. And I think really, so only about 19 by 19, um, I reckon the actual, the full size, yeah, the full size is 26, but obviously you've got your frame here and then you can mount it. So if you use the mount and then put that into the frame, that's what you'd need. But the actual area that you're working on is just about 19 by 19 thereabouts. But yeah, I thought that was really cute your threads and everything there so that's that one the next one i got can you guess well summer <laughs> again these kits are just over three pounds each um and i really like this one again so you've got like your sort of reference to the sea and the seaside flip-flops um there's a lighthouse shells fish life boys so yeah i just thought it was really really lovely again it's just very much the same thing we'll just have a look at the canvas to see what that's like so yeah really lovely and then the colors of the threads that, oh, let's just get it all out it's just easy isn't it so that's what the finished design will look like and i like it that it's been done as a cross stitch so you can see what it looks like rather than like an image of what the cross stitch was taken from. So you sort of see it in its sort of actual sort of pixelated state as it were. Um, so there is your chart, really clear. Right, so if you want to do this again, once you've done it, obviously you know what threads you need to order. It tells you which ones are full stitches and which ones are back stitches. And then it does, on the back of your sheet, if you're not sure, it does tell you how to do them, which is really, really useful. And then the threads, beautiful colors, really lovely. So yeah, how gorgeous. Right then, we put that there. I don't wanna get any of these mixed up. 
so that was spring then summer we've got autumn and i love it because it says autumn and not fall because obviously here in the uk we call autumn autumn <laughs> and then um, and not fall so this is lovely little pumpkins um the scarecrows little dragonflies a coffee obviously the leaves it's really really seasonal it looks gorgeous And again, these are all going to be very much a muchness because obviously it's a set of four. <laughs> so just in case you can maybe guess what my final cross stitch is going to be. So that's that. Really lovely. I like that you've got like an envelope, like a, an airmail letter, but it's like being franked. Quite like that. And then we have got the, the chart. Again, with the DMC numbers, all lots of lovely oranges and yellows and rusts very very autumnal colours and just look at the threads here just a stunning mix of colours feels really lovely thread beautiful floss and then the canvas is here so we've got the canvas number here 5939 does it say that on this just wondering if you stored it separately if you would know no it doesn't so if you were going to keep these separate I would suggest maybe writing on here what it is. But to be honest, the way that they're sort of packaged, I just keep everything together. So that's the autumn one. And then the final kit I've got is, ta -da, winter. <laughs> of course it is. So snowman, stockings, Christmas, reindeer Santa, Christmas tree presents. Looks really lovely. Just been distracted. The message has just popped up on my phone saying photo. My son um, is away on his first family holiday with him and his wife and our grandson, who's only two, and they've gone to Eurocamp um, near Paris. So they've only just gone today. So they've sent me a photo, so I need to finish this video so I can see it. <laughs> okay, so here is the finished image. Really lovely. Um, there's the chart. Again, as you'd expect, reds and greens and golds. Lovely, lovely seasonal one. The chart, sorry, the printed canvas. Again, so clear and really precise. They're like completely on the um, on the square, which is really, really good. And then here are all the gorgeous threads. Stunning. And yeah, that is everything. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to just try and pop everything together so you can kind of get an idea about everything that I've got today. Especially these little kits. I think they look lovely um, framed together. So let's just pop this like this. I just think what a lovely lovely little set to do and then it'll make you want to get them all finished because once you've done one you want to do the next so really cute so we've got the spring summer autumn winter spring summer autumn winter and then finishing off with the little piggy wiggy so yeah i hope you've enjoyed my unboxing and um, thank you ever so much to vip cross stitch i hope you um pop over to their website and don't forget my discount code and yeah take care guys stay cool and i'll see you all in my next video bye for now